Now that I have this list of assets, um, I can do a couple of things. I can just click on one and it will take me right in to the asset itself. Um, I can go back to the list view, see the whole list. Now there's a couple of things here about querying. Now, whether I'm in work orders, locations, assets, job plans, it really doesn't matter. The behavior of the search capability that I'm about to show works exactly the same way in all applications. <clears throat> so if I were looking for a specific asset and I knew the asset number, I could either scan a barcode or <clears throat> just type in the number and it would retrieve all that match that uh, number. By clicking on that, <clears throat> then I return the details of that asset, the asset number, its description, what site it's at. I can typify it and say what what kind of asset it is, so all my facilities asset or production asset or vehicles, I might classify them further uh, there with this asset uh, type. <clears throat> Any attachments, if this had uh, attachments that I needed to take a look at, maybe pictures or documents, uh, any digital. So it can be video, it can be pictures, it can be uh, a voice, <clears throat> uh, drawings. Any digital document can be added there. Um, this is the location it's sitting in and uh, maybe a little picture of it here also for uh, for ease of recognition. Uh, this, this would be the service address of where that piece of equipment is located and then other information such as the vendor, the manufacturer, the date it's installed, um, the purchase price, what the replacement cost would be. And then over here would be your total cost uh, that year to date since you've installed it. Um, uh, both, uh, this can be uh, labor, material, tools, and then you can do um, a budgeted amount as well. Um, so let's go back and let's just say I wanted to retrieve a certain, uh, all the assets at a particular location, for example. So I'll go back to the list tab, I'll clear this out, and let's just say I, I'll retrieve all 562. And let's say if it's in the location BR430, I wanted to retrieve all those assets. Well, there's only one. How about all of them that begin with a BR? Okay, so that left me with 14 assets right there. Okay, so if I didn't want to go search every time for that, I would do a save on that query. So I just queried the database. Give me all assets that have a BR in them. Right, BR designation in them. So I want to save that query, and I'll just say this is um, assets at location with BR. Okay. I always just copy and paste this to the description. Now this is: Do I want everybody to see this query or not? Do I want it open to the public, or is it just going to be private to me? This one is just going to be for me. And do I want to make it default so that every time when I come in to the system now, I see this query by default of this 14 list of this, this list of 14 assets? I'll go ahead and do that. Then I'll say OK. So I've just saved that. So now when I get out, maybe I go back <coughs> to my start center. Now when I go to assets again, instead of seeing a blank screen, it retrieves the first 14 assets for me, the ones that begin with BR, because I had it as a default. If I ever wanted to go take a look at that query, I can go to uh, hit this uh, downward porting uh, chevron and go to view and manage queries, and I'll see it right here. And when I open that up, it actually saves the where clause for me right here. So I can retrieve that anytime I want, use it in a report, so on and so forth.